Okay, so we're recording. Perfect, I got this up now. Uh, all right. Let me go into the folder. Okay, so these are all the clips I took from the St. Francis Wood area, but I've got these four route maps that I'm going to go over with you guys real quick. So um, the area is kind of like a weird four-leaf clover um, is the best way to describe it. So what we have on the uh, left hand side over here is like some basic Google Maps info um, but what it did was it allowed me to create a route and this route is basically the length of the first quarter of the uh, of the walking area so it's gonna go through the uh, along the St. Francis Boulevard that's the main boulevard you're gonna drive down and park at when you come to this area for the lesson and then this is the um, San Bernito Way. San Anselmo is this weird diagonal up here. And then it hooks back around and uh, goes back down uh, San Anselmo over here. So that's the first loop. And that's um, a fourth of a mile, a little bit under half a mile. Uh, I figured out later on that uh, over here in the details section, I could get a more detailed uh, description of the distance. So when I clicked on details in the later photos, this whole chart came up here. And if you add up all the feet, it tells you the total length of the distance, the uh, perimeter distance. So I don't have that available on the uh, first one. It says it's like just under half a mile. So that's roughly speaking the perimeter of a block. Um, this is probably going to be roughly the same. If I add up all the feet, it'll probably add up to the same. This is just the other length. Um, again, these are sharing San Anselmo, uh, which is kind of like in between the two. Here we go to block number three. So this is the lower half. So up here were the two upper block series, and now here are the two lower ones. So it's a, it's like a four block kind of thing. Uh, so there's, there's that part right there. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and go to the last one over here and you can get the total distance over there. Uh, 449 feet for this one. And then this one's, huh. Okay, so I think that's just that section. So I have to add all of these up. I'll do that later. Um, the point is, here's the fourth one. You've seen all four of them, you get the idea. Um, I'll put these in a link and uh, you'll be able to download them. So. Next thing I'm going to do is just jump into uh, these clips real quick. So that's Santa Ana. That's I'm sorry. I'm so I'm just scrubbing this. Uh, let's see here. I was standing on Santa Ana and I was looking at the street. So as I was walking, um, this is one of the thoroughfares that they don't want you to actually cross through. So I just kind of filmed everything as best as I could and just looked around. Um, so I'm going to just scrub through these clips real quick. Okay, so this is the red house. This was the first clip that was usable. So this is the red house. And if I go back to the maps, if I can get routes to open. That's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like right, hang on. It's uh, right down here. So I parked on Monterey when I went up there. So I went up this block first and did this loop first. So these clips that you're watching start on Monterey Boulevard, which is the lower end. And uh, I guess you could say that Monterey is south and that going towards St. Francis is headed north. So I guess going like up this way, up San Leandro, or up Santa a uh, Santa Ana, would be going north. Um, going across Monterey, that means to the right, would be to the uh, east, and then of course the other way is west, and then going down past Monterey is uh, south. <sighs> so that's like your cardinal directions right there. Um, so we're right now on the corner of, I believe, Monterey and um, Santa Ana. And so I'm just going to scrub this real quick. So I'm walking along this. There's the main fountain. 
if I press okay so it took me about two minutes and 45 seconds 46 seconds to walk that distance give or take time distance speaking um, so that's just an idea right there uh, we're not gonna cross this fountain so I'm gonna skip this one because I uh, realized later on that I recorded a bunch of extra clips than what were necessary because we're not gonna cross this that's me like trying to trying to analyze the intersection basically okay so here's the far end of St. Francis Woods. Um, I think I was just setting up the clip. Here we go. So I'm walking again. Um, the path, as you can see, as I move this, I'm holding the camera. But as you can see the path, it's very level, wide open streets. It's a great place to practice uh, O&M. So I'm just going to move this. Uh, one thing to notice. Uh, oh, hang on. Right here. So you see that staircase over here? So right now... We are going back down Santa Ana, heading south. So if you're heading north, going the opposite way, um, which is the way I went when I was going down it the first time, uh, if you're going north and you're on this side over here, the uh, the side the other side of the street's higher, and um, that's kind of weird because uh, the upper two blocks kind of have a slant to them. Not much, but enough where like. If you're walking for a very long distance, it gradually veers. The, the road veers. So you're likely to experience that while traveling. Um, and if you cross a long distance, that veer will accumulate, right? So I think that that's one thing to maybe be mindful of when walking around here. But that's kind of like niche. So now I'm back at the water fountain here. And that's kind of the end of this clip. But that's also the end of that block. So to give you an idea one more time, um, going back to the photos. So this was the lower half. Hang on. Here we go. And this is the upper half right here. So we walked from the lower half of Santa Ana up to the upper half. This is the northern face of Santa Ana. Okay, so going back to the clip now real quick. I'm going to go to the next one. And real quick, that's the water fountain that you see in the uh, photos, that's the fountain that you'll see right here. So that's like your context. Um, that's just me looking at the curve and kind of like watching things. Uh, this is Santa Ana going the other way, going back up it. Okay, where are we going now? This is San Bernito. So this is the other side right here. So I went down Santa Ana and around San Bernito. So that's going to be... Hang on, that's going to be this one right here, this photo right here. And like I said, I'm going to attach the four photos and I will um, just kind of put a link to the clips. So I'm, I'm looking at it. This is me just analyzing the map and kind of getting used to it. So this block, hang on is Monterey okay so I know where that is hang on let me go back real quick this is the uh, Monterey area this is the down bottom bottom end area I think this is when I'm walking up San Leandro I have to double check if I scroll ahead to the end I will get to the yeah, so there's St. Francis. Yeah, I'm just analyzing the intersections a lot. That you guys don't need to see that. You'll you'll be able to see the intersection yourself. But I'm going to just pan through this real quick so you can s roughly see the clip. Okay, that's me stopping. So it's all very wide and open. Let's go further. Lots of grass on one side, bushes on the other. Again, just a nice wide open path. People are pretty friendly. I walked down here. I had my cane in my back pocket. The second they saw my cane, they kind of knew that I was, you know, an okay person. Um, this is a wealthier neighborhood, and they're worried about a lot of break-ins because that's been happening lately. Apparently they've been having some issues with that. That's what 
some of the people over there were talking about. But I don't know. You just be polite to people and you're generally left alone. So now this is the, uh, okay, this is the far end. Let me pause this clip. This is the far end. So that's uh, that's this one right here. This is past St. Francis Boulevard, Santa Ana, going up and around this way. So this is going up Santa Ana, going to hit Portola, and then back down. Oh, wrong thing. Need to click OB, not OBS. Here we go. Need to click Windows. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's just walking some more. Very nice, wide open. I uh, was I liked that house. It had a nice trim to it. The uh, paneling was all hand carved. It was pretty cool looking. All right. And then that's when somebody stopped me and asked me for directions. And then that's another 13 seconds. Yeah, here I am trying to get the camera back under control. That was me kind of pointing out how the block kind of wobbles a little bit. It's kind of weird. You can feel it. Oh, that's a... Huh, something. There's a bug flying around in here. <laughs> oh, it's a moth. That's what it is. Um, so anyway, one of the things I figured out about the level was that my tripod has a little bubble level in it. So when you put it down on one end of the block to the other end, the bubble is off so that tells you how much slope there is to the area just a thought so i was just spending a bunch of time kind of like figuring out what the pitch of the street was it it leans downhill which means that like to the west it leans you might feel that kind of pull on your cane especially if you're using a roller cane you might feel the tip the roller tip pull towards the west um so now this corner here that we're at right here that's um right here that's this area of portola so it's like all the way up this way coming down here and then i think this is san cian san Le the the intersection of san leandro and portola um right there i think that's what that little iron gate is in this little green patch right here i think that's what this little green strip is on uh, google maps if I'm correct yeah that's it that's the uh, person's curb and that's that weird that's a little hillside right there in front of that person's house and that's exactly what that is right there that you're looking at so then in the next clip I'm going down that just traveling down that which is uh, going down San Leandro again it's nice and level it's very smooth uh, oh yeah I liked the brick house that was kind of cool And then, uh, oh, skipped that clip. Hang on, let me go back. What is this one? Okay, this is just me figuring out the map again. And just kind of looking at things. Okay, so what street is this sign going to say? San Leandro. Okay, so this is San Leandro down here. So this is the intersection of San Leandro and St. Francis. So now this is where you're crossing the fountain line. So this is the main street right here. Here's the water fountain that we've been talking about. And I'm walking down San Leandro and I am heading south now. And this is the main intersection just beneath the fountain. And then, uh, yeah, there's San, there's the San Leandro sign. And I'm walking which way? Yeah, I'm still walking this way. I think what it is is I'm actually walking down St. Francis towards the intersection of San Leandro. So I went in a full circle, got to the top of the fountain, walked down St. Francis, and then down San Leandro this way. So I think that's what it is, is I'm walking down St. Francis, which is towards the west. And now I'm heading towards... This is, this is under construction. This uh, house that's under construction is... Uh, right here on this corner. So I walked down San Leandro, which is heading from north to south. So walking down it is heading south. And I walked uh, from east to west down St. Francis. And then there's 
you know, some construction going on, I think, right here on this corner over here, which is what I think this house is over here. I wonder if I can get a still, still shot of that. Yeah, I can't really read that street sign. I'm fairly certain that's where I'm at, but that street sign isn't in focus. Oh, hang on. Yeah, just the San Leandro and that's St. Francis. Okay. Well, that's just me analyzing the intersection, just kind of not analyzing it, but just observing it and trying to like take mental notes of what it looks like. So this is interesting because uh, this street, this was the one I wanted to point out. When you're walking down this side of San Leandro, which is on the outside, um, it's very level. So there's kind of like three sets of walkways. There's the San Bernito walkway. There's the Santa Ana walkway and then the San Leandro one. And the one that's the most level is San, San bleh, the most level one is San Leandro. Um, the Santa Ana one has a slope to it and it leans to the west. And the far side, which is the one that's closest to the east, is really elevated. And then as you move down towards the west, the blocks become gradually more level. They're kind of like tiered like a terrace. So if you just think of it like that, um, you'll you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about when you go there later on. Um, yeah, those are some cool Halloween ornaments. People are starting to get into the seasonal spirit. Just walking down. Most of these blocks take about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to walk time distance. I'm not like sprinting or anything. I'm just, you know, walking at a brisk pace. There's the fountain again. So in this case, I guess we were going from Monterey up San Leandro. Okay. Because there's the fountain right up there. And we came up to it. Because I can see the fountain up there a block ahead. So that's got to be right here. And then there's the fountain. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Okay, what is this one? Okay, this is just me observing the intersection again, just trying to get a grasp of it. And this is me crossing the intersection because that is a freaking busy intersection. And that's not a joke. That's The people there do not want to stop. And they drive their Teslas and they kind of sneak up on you because it's an electric motor. Let's see here. Yeah, this is this is the really level block. You can see that the sidewalk is actually lower than the houses. Further up towards the east, the sidewalk is kind of sloped like I was saying. A little bit, not much, but you'll notice it if you're using a roller tip. Nice steady walk. Just scrub the footage real quick. Okay, and here we are at the end where we're at Portola again. So now in that clip, let me pause this. I forgot to pause it. There's Portola, right? So Portola is this diagonal. So we walked all the way from down here on Santa Ana all the way up San Leandro. So from the bottom most kind of intersecting uh, Monterey going all the way up. Uh, it's the yeah, previous one all the way up San Leandro to Portola and this is the diagonal that is Portola and there it is and it's a one-way street and there's looking up it and that's going back the other way okay which clip is this this is 32 no, that's the working bibliography for a different project uh, one, two, three, four, five more clips. All right, guys, five more clips to, to scrub through. Just a few more minutes. I know this video is like 20 minutes long. All right, so just walking this path. It's a nice, smooth path. Again, very wide. This is going down the other side. So remember, there's three lanes you can walk down. If there's sidewalks on either side, there's six sidewalks you can cross. Um, so there's actually a lot of pathways. Uh, I like these intersections because they have the rumble dots, um, which is helpful, and they stick out a lot. These are the yellow ones, which are different from the black ones that are in Burke because the, the black ones are really, like, flat. These ones really stick out. 
Um, this is just me analyzing briefly that intersection, just trying to look at it and, you know, observe it. Okay, walking down the other side. Okay, nice and smooth, lots of shade. Nice, this is, this is an example. This is a nice, wide, flat path, which is kind of cool. Great place to practice. Uh, over here, that's the house that's under construction. So if we go back to our map, that's uh, down here somewhere, actually. I thought it was up here, but it's actually down here towards Monterey is where the uh, house with the black tarps under construction is at. And here's Monterey. Yep, there's Monterey, and that's this intersection right here, and that, that sign's just barely in focus. Okay, there we go. There's the end of that. Let's go to the next clip. I think this is me just looking at the intersection again. Yep, looking at the intersection again, taking a mental note of where I'm at. Okay, this is me traveling up Monterey, which is the farthest most end block. Takes me about a minute to travel that length from the corner of Monterey and Santa Ana. So that's from here all the way to here. Just I filmed the clip around every single block just to have like a reference for it. Okay, so now this is me doing another checkup, and that's the last clip. Okay, that's all 37 clips. So that took uh, 22 minutes. I appreciate your time. Hopefully that helps you out. If you want to see the actual like full length clips, you can email me. I'm just going to send out this quick 20 minute review um, because if I put all the clips together in one video, it's going to be like an hour long because they're all like five minutes and there's like 37 of them. So I don't think you want to watch that. Anyway, thanks for your time. Hope this helps. See you guys in a couple of days.